Louisiana Beer Reviews, Flynn's Burger Pilsner. Flynn's Burger Brewery was established in Flensburg, Germany in 1888. They produce a line of beers. This is the only one I have from them. <clears throat> this beer gets a good rating on Beer Advocate. The bros give it an average rating. Uh, gets a 38 out of 100 on rate beer, a 66 out of 100 for the style. Like I thought I said, maybe I forgot, 4.8% alcohol, 11.2 ounce rip-off bottle. Uh, imported by Noble Union Imports of Houston, Texas. So you got a little ship with some of the awards they've won and a little... Uh, some lions. All right. Before I get into that, talking about the Texas Rangers, I went to see them in 2000 and in 2006 and in 2010. In fact, the Texas Rangers was the first major league ballpark I'd ever gone to. Uh, the ballpark in Arlington, which was opened in 1990. Uh, or was it 93? Uh, pretty sure it was 94. Um, very nice ballpark. Not a whole lot to do around there. It's just some offices and some hotels and some freeways. But the stadium itself is fantastic. Checked on the website today. You can still get tickets inexpensively, $7. Here's a 2006 stadium guide, guest guide. It's not as nice as what you normally get at stadiums. It's just really just a sheet. You get the stadium map on there, and it's got a map of where the stadium's located and some information about the rules of the stadium. And now the Texas Rangers are starting to be a very good team, which makes it more exciting. All right, let's get into the beer. This Flensburger Pilsner. Flensburg was the last headquarters of the Nazi government in Germany after World War II. And in fact, um, Admiral uh, Donitz, the new president of Germany after Hitler was gone, he had his headquarters there. And for a few weeks, they even had the Nazi flag flying out there, and the Americans didn't seem to have a problem with it. And then the Russians made a stink about it, so they shut it down. But that actually was in Flensburg. Okay, uh, it's got the uh, flip cap, and I think this is ceramic, not plastic. That might be. Saw some smoke. I got this really cold, because as you might know, these Pilsner and Lager beers tend to be very good ice cold all right <laughs> the flip cap is good to keep it fresh but it's a pain in it in this case what would you be trying to keep fresh it's not even 12 ounces well we get a thin white head and a mostly clear but a little hazy yellow appearance with some screaming bubbles a little bit hazy in fact I don't think that's just the condensation. All right, let's go with the smell test. Whoa, it's a strong smell, but not a skunky smell, just strong. Strong smell of malt, barley malt, medium or lightly toasted barley malt, and sweetness. Oh, man, that is a great aroma. So that aroma is A+. Plus. Let's go with the taste. Light toasted malt. Sweetness. A lot of water. Some bitterness. A um, little bit of paperiness that you might get with a Pilsner or a lager.
find you don't get the paperiness with an adjunct logger, an American adjunct logger. That corn or rice cuts that. But when you have the Ryan Skabat type beers, you, you might get that sometimes. It might be coming from the husks, the barley husk. I don't know. They've got sediment in here. There are little pieces of brown sediment. That's where that haze is coming from. Huh. There's yeast floating all in this darn thing. All throughout the beer. Wow. How about that? That's something to see. Okay. I mean, it's it's really there. Suspended particles. Nice lacing. Uh, the finish. The body is, you know, light and watery. The finish. It's crisp. It's clean, it's refreshing, it's mild. The drinkability is super high. They do have some hot bitterness there at the end. Got some nice Pilsner type hoppiness. <clears throat> that strange little taste might be coming from all that yeast floating around in there. But it's all right. Uh, oh, look at that. Hmm. I'm gonna give it a B plus. I think it's very good. I'm not gonna go say it's excellent, but it's very good and it's worth buying and trying. So. Les Le Bon Temps Relay, this is a very good beer. Rangers Ballpark in Arlington is an A. It's an A plus ballpark, but with the lack of things to do around there, I guess you could just say it's an A. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to Louisiana.